Well, good morning, and welcome to Finally Friday. This is my favorite part by now. Those of you who are listening, you should know that Finally Friday is all about facing challenges. We know that at the end of the week, we have faced many things. A lot of things can happen between now and Monday, or Monday, Monday, now, and then. So, our question for today is, what challenges have you faced this week, currently, or in the past? This is your opportunity to share with us challenges that you are facing. We want to hear from you right here on our very own Facebook page. And we want to let you know that we have a line designated just for you. Just for you. And we are going to put you on so that you're able to say what you feel on this Finally Friday. We say welcome one and all. Finally Friday, we made it here. Thank you all for joining us. We are here with you. You're going to hear me today, but you're going to mostly hear from our co-host, uh, yours truly, as soon as we can get her in. As soon as we can get her in. We want to... Just let everyone know that there is no I in teamwork. We do things and share things. And I'd like to introduce. Hello there. Good morning. Good morning. Um, if you can't hear me, uh, go ahead and uh, let me know. And I want everybody who's in the room to give a thumbs up. Uh, we see you on here. Thank you so much, Mr. Chef Chef. Haven't seen you for so long. How are you? So good to see you. So good to see you. And we want to thank all those who are still supporting Vibe Talk. We see you. And... Please know that we do care. Um, I can't get a... Trying to get you in here, my co-host and I. Okay. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for showing up. So the question today is, what challenges have you faced today? Presently or in the past. We realize that today has been a long week for some of us. And um, we want you to call in uh, and tell us. You can do so whenever you like. Friday is the day to do that. And we're on... How's everybody been? We are now streaming nationwide. Honestly. We're on all platforms that you listen to your favorite podcasts. We hope that we can become... Aw, oh, hi, Seth. Seth says, good day, friend. Good day to you. How have you been, Seth? How have you been? Congratulations. Yes, lots of changing. 
lots of changing. And we are changing for the best. For those of you who have been looking for us, we're still here. We also have a YouTube page, thanks to my co-host Trish, who made that possible. Because I am so not techy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, Seth. Seth, new opportunities and blessings. Seth, can you tell everybody where you're from? Seth has also been a longtime supporter of Vibe Talk, Facing the Lion podcast. And the chef is, it Seth is a chef. You know, I love to eat. <laughs> I do. And I'm always interested in what he is creating. Full of greatness and success. I love that. So positive. Um, Trish, we're trying to get you in here. The only thing I could say is to call in uh, Bridgeport, Derby, Connecticut. Thank you for joining us. I asked him that a million times. Do you ever get tired of me asking that, Seth, where are you from? Because <laughs> I just can't remember, guys. Where everybody's from. But now. He said it's all good. We're going to talk about challenges this week. And we're waiting for our co-host. To come in. Um, I am. Trying so hard. To get her in here. And. Because we are. In two different states. I'm on the west coast in California and Trish is South Carolina. So if you're thinking we're sitting right next to each other, that's what technology does. That's that's the wonderful thing about technology. That's why I love it. So we're about to get started. Um, we're going to go to a commercial break. Really quick, and then um, my co-host is going to take over from here. Okay, guys? So, we're going to be right back. Are back. Seth says, it's challenge. Got a raise at my job. Congratulations. It says, big challenge for my financial support. Love it, love it. I want to say something with that. Seth, congratulations. Your challenges don't have to be a bad thing. They can be a really great thing. It depends on how you look at it. And that's a great challenge because, you know, I mean, we all can use, you're welcome, we all can use a little bit more money. That doesn't, ha that doesn't harm us <laughs> when we are financially comfortable, okay? And that's important. That's a good challenge. We want to hear the good, the bad, or the not bad, challenging. We want to hear all about it. Thank you, Seth, for starting us out. Uh, my co-host, um, our connection is failing, so you're going to need to call in, please, today. Stay with us, guys. While um, my co-host is calling in, uh, we want to remind you guys, Saturday evening, after dark, Cali time, we are going live on Instagram. 
Instagram. In case you didn't know, we do have Instagram. And uh, we're asking, please support us if you can listen to the lives. It's going to be different. We get into... Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. It says, I'll be your next guest. Yes, we want that. We would love that. In fact, Seth, we're looking for guests. If you want to be a guest, if you want to be a guest, let us know. So, Seth, I'm going to hold you to it. I love it. That's what we want. Yes, from wherever you are. Good morning, Angel. Welcome. Thank you for being here. And we are on a series of platform angel. Where are you listening in from, please? And thank you. I am feeling great this morning. Trishy wants to know how we're feeling. I'm feeling good. Okay. Um, thank you for all of those who are listening to us. We're going to turn it over to Trish because here we don't just have a one woman show. We share. And I want to hear more from Trish because Trish does so much for this. Uh, Seth says, hi Trish. And Angel, the reason we're asking where are you, where are you from, not your home, but your states is because so many people still don't know about Vibe Talk, believe it or not. Even though we have touched all the states, 1% may know. And that's a way of helping other people know that there are opportunities for them with emotional mental health. So our guest speaker today is our very own house speaker, Trish. Trish, would you take it away from here now? We're switching seats. <laughs> Welcome, Trish. Thank you for having me as a guest. <laughs> um, hi, good morning. Today, I'm going to talk about my challenge, my challenges that was for this week. And a big challenge that I had was Doing, pre doing and preparing for a presentation that I had to do for public speaking. The emotions I had during that was nerve-wracking emotions and heavy anxiety because I wanted it to be perfect. I didn't want it to be at fault or make any mistakes because what I chose for my presentation is to do music. And my teacher asked us, what can we do in our sleep? What do we know that we're good at? And I know that I'm good at my music. So that's what I chose. And you had hearts going up from Seth. I just want to acknowledge that. Seth, thank you so much. Go ahead. And with that being said, I prepared, I practiced for a entire week, seven days straight until the presentation to make sure everything was correct. I had everything set and prepared. And when I got there, my equipment wasn't working. <laughs> it wasn't working. And I was so upset. Like, I started to cry because I had everything planned out and didn't go as planned. So after that, my teacher, he was, he said, just do a video and send it to me and that's what you can do. But even though I should have seen it as a second chance to redo it and show them what I'm good at, I was looking at the negative side. I was saying to myself, wow, I, I blew it. Like, there's no coming back from this. I already messed up. Why do I need to take a video when it's already over? It's messed up. And 
when I got home, I had to sit and think, do I, do I give up or do I try again? Even though I had technical difficulties when I decided to try again, and then I had to redo the second half, it still came out finished. I finished it eventually. And I'm glad. I thank God because it wasn't easy to keep my composure in, in that. So that's the challenge that I faced this week. So how many of us have had that kind of a challenge? Uh, maybe not with college papers, but you've had the challenge of having to get something done, and you feel like you goofed up. You know, we talk about mistakes here. We talk about challenges because we know that all of us are faced with challenges. Trish, we want to thank you for being such a gracious host as well as being able to switch seats with me. Um, we, her, excuse me, her and I had the opportunity to talk about feelings and emotions. And she mentioned, too, anxiety. And what was the other one, Trish, that you mentioned? I said nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking, which is still comes under anxiety. Anxiety. So we know that you all, um, Seth says much love, and we appreciate you, Seth. I love when he pops up. That lets us know that he is still with us. He says, congrats, Trish. Congratulations. What was your... Thank you. What was your grade in that class? In this class? Um, my average in this class was a... 89. Hey, you can't beat that, right? <laughs> so, the result of that was what, Trish? What was the result of that? The result of that was, I didn't give my grade yet, but I still ended up turning it in regardless of the technical difficulties that I had. Yeah, yeah. You hear that? So what do we take home from this, this podcast? Um, what are we taking from her experience? Because she's going to do all, most of the talking today, so I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> be quiet. We're going to be right back, and we're still asking the question. What have you been challenged with this week or in the present or past form. We'll be right back. Did you know that Vibe Talk can be found in your Google search, Alexa, or Siri, and Siri? Find us by asking Alexa, Siri, and Google for Vibe Talk's latest podcast. We're back, Trish. It's your turn. Good morning, good morning, and welcome all to Vibe Talk, Facing the Lion program, podcast. Today is, finally, Friday. We have with us our guest speaker, who is our very own co-host, Trish. Go ahead. about my 
my situation, I thought of how I put myself under my own pressure. I don't know who can relate to that because yeah, okay. I do that. I do that a lot. Mm -hmm. it's your... When when that happens, I forget to pause. And remember, it's not as hectic as it seems. Mm -hmm. Even though in the situation, it seems like a tornado when it's just as simple as a 12 miles per hour breeze. I make it into a very difficult situation when it's in my single moment to just think about what solutions do I have? What can what can I take away from this if it does come out into the outcome that I want it? Because I am an overthinker. So when I overthink it is hard for me to think about the possible resolutions or solutions that can help me in certain trials or situations or challenges. What I liked about your challenge is that you challenged yourself to do something even at the height of the emotion of feeling because you had already experienced. You had already experienced anxiety. And with that experience already happening to you that challenged you, what you did was create for yourself the ability of being able to still go through. The ability of ch challenging yourself. And that's real important, ladies and gentlemen. It's real important. And that's why I wanted her story to be our talking point. And that's why she is hosting. And we thank you for that. Go ahead, Trish. Yeah, and I had to think about what if I don't do it? What is the outcome if I don't, if I just give up? Because it'll just be one zero if I gave up. I had to talk to myself. I had to say, okay, well, if I do decide to just give up and not turn anything in, it's just one zero, right? I told myself that. And then... Another part of me was like a zero, a zero on doing something that I know that I'm good at. I could just show them how to do it instead of giving up and saying, oh, it's already over. I wanted them to see it up front, like a live version. Mm -hmm. But I chose to go ahead and do it because for one, it's my grade. I don't play about my grade. <laughs> I really don't. And the fact that for me, when he first got this assignment, he was like, what are you good at? And I said, I'm good at music. He said, oh, you make music. I didn't know that. I was like, yeah, I do. I make music. He was like, what do you do? And I said, I write lyrics. I do instrumentals sometimes. And he's like, okay. That's good. And I was like, he was like, the perform this presentation is a demonstration presentation. And he was like, you have to bring yourself, whatever it is, and show us what you do. I was like, oh, that's easy. That's the first thing I said. I said, oh, that's easy. I can do that. And when things messed up, I was like, oh, I said this was easy. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the outcome didn't turn to how I wanted it. But there was a second option that I refused to look at, but eventually I had to turn to because I only had one way, one way in and one way out, and that's how I wanted. Mm -hmm. Open-endedness. You all heard Trish say one way out and one way in. 
even though she had that before her, that challenge, one way in and one way out, you know, um, we see exit signs wherever we go. We see enter and exit. That's become part of our world. So we familiarize ourselves with that. But here's what you learn from entering and exiting something. You learn that there can be many possibilities, open-endedness. Um, you go to a movie theater, and I want to stick with this point for a second because we're talking about challenges. When you enter into something, here our co-host Trish, you were faced with the challenge of uh, turning in your, your project as part of your college grade. You entered that and you said, oh, that's easy. But then you had to find a way not to avoid it, but to still exit successfully and having completed your project as you exit it. You found that way. So the reason I use open-ended, ladies and gentlemen, is because there's always more than one way to do something. In relationships, relationships are all about open-ended. You know, sometimes we enter into these relationships and we are not encouraging anyone here, so please be mindful of this. If you're in the relationship, challenge yourself to be open-ended. There is many possibility to challenge yourself to get better at your relationships and not always taking the exit. You don't even have to enter into a relationship, but challenge yourself. See, we're not the podcast that's going to tell you what to do, but we're going to give you something to finally think about, something that you could have done better, something that you could improve more of in being open-ended. More than one way to think about something. I just want to add that. Trish, we're going to be right back for you to talk more about what you want to talk about. Okay? We'll be right back. We promise. We will be right back. Good morning. Good morning to all who have joined Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. We're talking about challenging ourselves. What challenge have you all been faced with? Either past or present? Trish, go ahead. Something that you said about relationships uh, stuck with me. For, for a second, I had to think about it because when I'm in relationships, I usually think my goal and my purpose in the relationship is to make someone else happy and make sure they're on their P's and Q's and me, I'm just out there, not really getting what I deserve in the relationship. And I had to end a relationship in the past because I had to stop myself and think this isn't how I want it anymore. Mm -hmm. I want something different. I feel important mm -hmm. enough to say that I'm one 
to realize that I'm important, but I need to realize that I'm important first before I get that from somebody else. Mm -hmm. So the, the next possibility I had to think of was to have self-love for myself and not doubt that I deserve some sort of benefit from relationship or love that I needed from the relationship. So what you said just made me think about that. Well, again, if there's any one of you that have felt like that, we're here. Um, we have to challenge ourselves every day. You know, uh, a lot of people like to give advice. I'm not one that likes to give advice uh, because what I might do is not what you may do. So here's the open-endedness of this podcast is that it works in a lot of ways. It gives you the opportunity to think about uh, how to challenge yourself. It gives you opportunity to even ask questions. Have you been challenged? And when you're challenged, what is the resolution? We're hoping that you're going to find the resolution as you challenge yourself. We all face challenges. In fact, this is what the podcast is all about. When you hear Friday, Finally Friday, if you hashtag Finally Friday and Facing the Lion, okay, you're going to see all of our Fridays podcasts and discussions. This happens to be my favorite. And I'll tell you why, because you get to see how we're challenged as well. I want to talk about my challenge this week. And uh, Trish, you are still in my seat. So I want you to stay there because you are our guest speaker today. Challenges. Do we have them? Do we face them? Yes. Even I, as a wellness coach, face challenges. I had a challenge faced this week. Um, you know, there's a lot of people in the public's eye. It's a lot of people. And because we have made this podcast, okay, we're surrounded with people. People began to know us by name, by nature, by hearing our voices, Trish and my voice, every single time you click the button. And we're willing to face the challenge of getting snubbed, people trying to prevent us from saying what we feel is important, and that is emotional and mental health. They may not even like the way that we are bringing it. But mental and emotional health matters. So, to my challenge this week, we had people that, or someone decided that they were going to flag all my work, okay, and my work does not stop here. I have other pages. They went and started flagging them. I don't even know who the person is. I don't even care about who the person is, but I am here to stay. We want to make you aware that this is happening? What do we do about it? We just simply are going to have a different reaction because I don't know who it is. As you have heard me say, we're in the public's eye, in their viewing. And it wasn't this page, and hopefully it will not be this page. But when people do things like that, it helped me to realize, yes, I'm being challenged, all is good, but sometimes we need to think about what happens when we're faced with the lions in our lives. 
What are we going to do about it? What? Are, how are we going to respond to people behaving that way? I could have been angry because people can have your page taken down. They can. They can do all kind of things. But I'm flattered by it. And here's why I'm flattered. Because obviously it was something on my work that irritated them. Okay. Because my work is not offensive. I have other pages because I also do photography. And I'm not talking about this page. But that a person pays that much attention to you that they would have to do that. Here's the key to the other half that I didn't tell you and I want to be honest about it. Just before, after that happened, or before that happened, uh, there was some situations that I had to really make clear. And we make them clear because we deal with so many people. When you on a public platform, you deal with so many people. I kind of have an idea of who it may have been, but I'm not a name dropper in any way. But it's interestingly enough, people that call themselves your friends. Come a little closer. You know those people that you call your friends? You need to be aware. Be challenged. Challenge yourself. See, a lot of people like attention drawn to them. But here it is. Make yourself in safe spaces when you are surrounded by the public. Trisha and I constantly talk about how we want to present Vibe Talk. And I know, Trish, sometimes it sounds like a scolding, but I'm not here for that. I'm here to introduce you into something that people can take a word that you say and then it ends up in exit with words you never even intended them to be. So around here, we're conscious, we're aware, we've awakened to our awareness of how we're going to present things. Going back to friends. Be careful who you call your friend. Because the more introductions that we get, starting from here, is the more that it's going to irritate some soul out there. They're going to be irritated because they may imitate. They may perceive you to be something that you never even thought of. We understand it and we welcome the challenge. Trisha, I turned it back to you. Wow. Um, I it just made me think your challenge made me think about sometimes when I post my music on Facebook and sometimes they mute your music mm -hmm. and that's fine because they're protecting copyrighted issues mm -hmm. and I could choose to take it down because it's been done to me about 10 times mm -hmm. I could choose to take it down because I wasn't my intention wasn't to copyright anybody's work mm -hmm. but I chose to they have options they have either unmute your audio and keep it there or you can take it down and do 
something else and post something else. Mm -hmm. So what I chose is to, I didn't choose to get upset about it. I chose to just unmute the audio and keep my message up there Mm -hmm. because when I do my music, I have a good message Mm -hmm. and I want people that need it and that feel they needed to hear something positive today or Mm -hmm. they needed to hear somebody tell them or somebody that relates to them. Mm -hmm. They want to hear that sort of thing. So I kept, so I keep it up there because it's important. My music is important to me, but it is also important to me when others get a positive impact from Mm -hmm. me i've had people tell me oh your music has really put me in a good mood Mm -hmm. today or they tell me wow this music is amazing like and it makes me happy and it motivates me to keep going because i'm impacting people in a positive way Mm -hmm. so i'm gonna keep posting i'm gonna keep doing what i have to do because i love it I love it, and I love the happiness it brings to other people. You better say that. I love your message, and that is exactly how we have to challenge ourselves. Just because someone doesn't like what you do doesn't mean that you surrender to them. When you're surrendering to them, your passions, your desires... You're giving in to that vicious lion who's always there in your midst to attack you in a literal sense. And so what do we do? We keep on. Trish said something very profound. She keeps the music up. Choice. Just like us. We're not going to stop. And here's how I know that it was the individual because the conversations that I have, see, I'm a pretty smart cat, if you will. I'm no longer a kitten. I'm a full-grown lion. And for somebody to seek you out to do that, you obviously have some lions that you need to be faced with. I say to you, be careful who you're calling your friends. Because it didn't hurt anything. It didn't hurt anything. It just challenged me. You did not get the reaction that you thought you were going to get. And our platform is simply to create awareness. And thank you for the awareness. So that's how I'm choosing to deal with the challenges. How are you choosing to deal with the challenges that you have been faced with? We're going to be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Be right back. We have to go to a commercial break. With more of Trish, our own house guests. We'll be right back. Did you know that Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast is on our very own YouTube channel? Click that button and don't forget to listen in. YouTube, look for Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. We're back. And our house guest is our very own co-host, Trish. 
Take it away. We're talking about challenges. Challenges come in different shapes and sizes, different forms, and how we deal with them and how we choose to look at them is important as well because how you look at a challenge, if you see it as a as something that you cannot get out of and you will never get out of, it will be just that. Because our minds, our minds are amazing things. So our minds can create our own age or our own desolate place where there is no option mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So protect your mindset because your mindset is very important into facing your challenges in your confidence and in your strength because if you think i got this there is a way out i can do it then you'll be able to do it you'll be able to do it yeah i like that you have options we all have options Hear us out, ladies and gentlemen. You have options. There is no person that you've ever come across that has not been challenged with something. You know, lions tend to roar to let you know that you're there or they're there. And that's why they're called kings of the jungle. Or safari we know that they're present you want to be heard start thinking about your options and knowing that you're not some powerless pushover you got that powerless push over so you don't want to be known as that you want to be known as a lion who is aware, but very cautious. You want to know that the lion is observant. You can become that powerful. And what my challenge taught me is that, wow, all that time you're thinking that people certain people who falsely believe that they're your friends don't even recognize that they're not your friend because they're afraid of your power. I don't know if anybody else out there has had that. But here's how I see. The power that you look at is the strength of how I became in this seat. Everyone has their own power. If you've ever listened to our superhero theories, then you understand, I love, that's my favorite thing to talk about. And I wish that as I was, um, I wish that I wish that I would have taught about those superhero theories when I was teaching early childhood. Because there's a message to that. And we have to look deep within it. We all have power. Don't you ever believe through your challenges that you are not powerful. Power is representation of the strength. You have strength. Your challenges have made you what and who you are right at this very moment. 
So when other people see your strength, you know, they see it as power. Wow, that person is really powerful. Sometimes when you're challenged like that, you're able to see your strength. Because I had no idea why that was happening to me all of a sudden. And then I said, oh, uh, maybe that's why. See, we don't name drop here. What we do hope is that you will get the message not to be afraid of your strength. I recall watching a Spider-Man movie. I don't know what version it was because there's so many versions, but it was the the young kid, the one that that was the newest Spider-Man. And when it came out in the theater, he was afraid of his power because he didn't understand his power. Where did he get this from? and so on and so forth. I want to ask you, do you understand your strength? People may see it as power. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to our show. People see your strength. And your strength is going to irritate people because they want that strength. You know, when I see Spider-Man, I think it would be pretty cool to shoot out webs. But that wasn't given to me, even as a unreal superhero. But we all know and love Spider-Man. See, that's not my power. My power comes in different form. Your power comes in different forms. It's going to be how you use it. Are you awakened by that? Trish, you're our guest. Take it away. And there's power asking for help, too. Mm -hmm. I had to learn that in this class because mm -hmm. my teacher, he would say, y'all are classmates, help each other out. Mm -hmm. And on the first day, here's a reveal, guys. On the first day, I was a little behind everybody else in creating my outline. Mm -hmm. And everyone was finished before me. And my teacher, he, he took a look at it. And he, at my outline, and he said, oh, you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. He said, try, you know, breaking it down to something a little simpler than that. So he told the other two girls to help me. And I was a little uncomfortable about it because it's hard for me to ask for help. Good morning. But Good morning, good morning. Welcome. People are coming in. And tell us where you're from. We're talking about challenges. What challenge have you faced this week, past or present? Go ahead, Trish. It's hard for me to ask for help, but when they helped me, I got it done. And the second day I went to class, Another situation happened where I had to print out my paper and I didn't have a dime to, to print out my paper. And I was like, oh, how am I going to print this out? Like, I need to turn this in by the end of the class period. And my classmate, she gave me a quarter. She said, here you go. She was like, you can, you can use this. And I was like, I told her, thank you. And I was like, you know, I should just ask for help. Like, stop being stubborn. I told myself, you have to stop being stubborn because you need help. You need help to get through this class. Mm -hmm. And you can't get through it all by yourself, everything by yourself all the time. Mm -hmm. You have to 
find your power and strength and courage in asking for help. Mm-hmm. So that's what this class is teaching me right now. Yeah. And you know another thing? Why are we afraid? Why are we afraid to ask for help? You know, it's like I said about the thing of challenging ourselves. When we challenge ourselves or when we're being challenged by someone or something, we become afraid. Let's just say there's nothing, no shame, no guilt to be carried with you to prevent you from challenging yourself to just get it done. We feel ashamed. You know, with the quarter thing, there's lots of times that I don't have change. There's lots of time where we may be facing financial difficulty and we don't want anybody to know. But guess what? Had you not had someone there that saw that you needed the help, maybe you wouldn't have furthered yourself to get that paper done. Because everybody doesn't have the opportunity to have the friend that says, hey, you know, let's, let's help someone out. Do that, ladies and gentlemen. Don't try to keep the lion down because... One thing about lions, they will rise again. Don't be afraid of other people advancing, progressing, growing. Don't be afraid of what that looks like even for yourself. Don't be jealous of it. How many of us have had people that were jealous of us because we had doors of opportunity that we went through? Instead of saying, no, I'm not going to go through the door. See, in life, you know, we want to be copycats. We copy hairstyles. We copy verbiage. We copy clothing. You know, the list is long. You probably remember the last time you've copied something. But here is something to think about. Why be the copycat? You can be your own powerful individual by strength. Because you can't stop people from being intimidated. I'm so thankful that I've been challenged to be determined. Because had I not been raised to choose determination because quitting was never an option. I had to be challenged to tie my shoe. That's simple, right? Everybody in here knows how to tie their shoe. You go, Miss Easy, that's so easy. I can tie my shoe in 2.2 seconds. Well, let me tell you something. The challenge that I was born with is that I was born with one hand with few missing fingers. The right hand has no fingers. Maybe not your challenge, but it was my challenge. And I'm so glad that my mother taught me how to tie my shoe. And if I didn't do it right, untie it, help me untie, help me tie it. Untie it, help me tie it right. But here's the catch. She didn't tie it for me. She helped me to learn to tie my shoe. And it's a funny thing because my niece mentioned this one day. And I thought, wow, you know, kids, kids have a great memory. She says, you remember that time when, when Grandmommy um, kept on tying your shoes? Or something 
No, it wasn't. No, it was something else. Because she wasn't born yet. Excuse me. That was in relation to something else. Anyway, had my mother not taught me the determination and the will to do even that little thing, maybe I wouldn't even drive a car, which I do right now. Challenge, you say? I have been faced with many challenges. We say good morning to one and all. So when we think about what people are being challenged with, what are you really being cha challenged with? And if you have, how did you overcome the challenge? Mine was through determination. M mine was through the entering in and taking many exits. But before I took the exit, learning how to get. To the exit. You ever been through, they have a thing in LA and you go through a maze and you've got to solve all these clues to be able to get out of it. I've not been but I heard it's so fun and I want to go and I'm going to go because it would probably drive me crazy. But have you ever saw the people, uh, it, it's a maze place. I'll ask my sons what it is. Uh, what the name of it is, but if you've been to any kind of place like that, you can't get out of the place until you solve the problem. You got to exit and enter doors. And if that's not the way, they leave clues for you. We should challenge ourselves that way every day. You know what that's simply called? Get a clue. We started out with being challenged with various things. Then we went on to say, challenging ourselves to become aware of who is and who isn't and what is and what isn't. I started talking about friends. Challenging yourself by getting a clue. And that's kind of what this fun house is. People have made a game out of these challenges. There's a real life thing and I got to go to it. I will let you guys know next week what it is because I don't know the name. If you do know the name of it, please put it in our box or mention it to us as you hear the program. Trish, we're turning it back over to you. And I'm going to let you do the Trisha's Treasures because I think it's real important.
that I can control and some things that I cannot control. Mm -hmm. So that is what I learned and that's how I grew from this situation and not ready. We'll be right back. That Vibe Talk has one on one counseling for your individual wellness, as well as group. Get with us on Vibe Talk Facing the Lion. Send us a message to let us know that you're interested. By the way, it's virtual, so you can be at work, at play, on vacation, wherever you are. You can always connect with Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. say thank you all for joining us and we wish to have you challenge yourself as often as the opportunity arises. We want to share something with you regarding the exit and the entry, entry and exit. If you've ever been where you've seen entry and exit. There are many ways to exit. And most of the time when you go to live theater they will tell you where the exits are. Those in your life are challenges because when you enter something you realize that there will always be an exit somewhere, somehow. Somewhere, somehow. We want you to think about that because your exit, good morning and welcome to Vibe Talk Facing the Lion. Where are you from? We're talking about challenges and what have you been challenged with? When you enter something, you think about the exit. Those exits are choices. Let me explain. Wyoming. Thank you, Wyoming, for joining Vibe Talk Facing the Lion. The exits in your life are not failure. They're simply there to help you choose. If the room were on fire, how quickly would you exit? If there were injury or any harmful thing, how quickly would you exit? So the next time that you see exit, always remember there's always a way. Challenge yourself to find that way. Because here at Vibe Talk, we're not going to tell you what way. Because everyone has a different idea. 
And that's why we steer clear of the word advice. Because we all can advise something. But here legally, we're going to let you decide. We're hoping, ladies and gentlemen, um, that you've enjoyed today. I want to read a comment uh, from our guest from Wyoming. He says, I try not to be hasty about decisions. Yeah, how many of us have been hasty about decisions and we find out what? We didn't challenge ourselves enough, or either we challenged ourselves too much. There is a thing we'll talk about that next time. Um, gives an example. For example, he says, My job is making decisions that is driving away employees. Oh, yeah, that can be impactful. Making hasty decisions may or may not cause impact. Thank you for sharing that. This is live and recorded. If you'd like to hear it again in its entirety, please come to our Facebook page. Simply call Vibe Talk Facing the Lion. Or hashtag Vibe Talk Facing the Lion podcast. Trish, I want to thank you from the heart. You did well. She was so nervous when I said, I'm going to put you in my seat. You filled it well, and you did really well. Thank you so much. Uh, are, are you still here with us, Trish? Our uh, guest from Wyoming says, five employees were hasty and jumped into other jobs. Yeah. Thank you for that. Challenge yourself. If you find out that your challenges aren't working well for you, don't give up. Try different exits. And by exits, exit is always meaning there's other ways. There's other ways to do something. Exit. When you exit, you, you, you're leaving you may leave an old way of doing something and entering into a new way of doing something. So think of your exit as not failure of leaving, but being able to leave and think about how you'll do something to challenge yourself in improvement and growth and speaking and abilities. Thank you so much. Uh, we're asking the question today. What did you learn from today's podcast? And how did it make you feel? Trish, I learned a lot from you. You had a paper. You entered with that idea. You exited it feeling as if you had it all under control and what you found out through the exit, the accomplishment of the paper is that you had to challenge yourself and you did that resoundedly. We can all learn from you. I feel very inspired because of you. Trisha, I ask you the same question. What? Did you learn and discover about today's program on challenging yourselves? Stay with us. Um, today I learned from your challenge to keep going regardless of the stepping stones or the roadblocks that are in the way. To just keep going. In my experience here today, was at first I was nervous, but then as I kept going, I realized so I got this out of this too hard of myself. So that was my experience today. I want to thank each and ever every one of you. We had Seth with us today, uh, our own guest speaker, our house speaker, uh, 
Trish, thank you so much for all that you do. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, she talked about her music. Uh, Trish, how do they find you if they want to hear your music? You can find me on YouTube and SoundCloud under Queen Fire. That is spelled Q U three three N F I Y four and. That is where you can find my music and my latest album, Silent Phrases. Um, if you could, could you put it in our... Good morning and welcome. Welcome to our program. We're just about to wrap up, but nevertheless, we are always recorded. I want to thank all of you for being here. Trish, don't forget to put in the information for your music right here on our Facebook page. If you guys want to know about Vibe Talk, thank you so much, and you like our podcast, please find us on all social medias or some social medias and all streaming platforms all you have to do is hashtag Vibe Talk Facing the Lion Podcast. You'll get our podcast. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And all because of Trish, our YouTube, you, the music that you hear is exclusively from her. Thank you, Facebook, because she owns the right to her music. So she does a lot of great things. She did a nice job here. We are looking for guest speakers. We're looking for people. We want very much. We want very much to give you the opportunity to be challenged. Our Vibe Talk Facing the Lion has taken us through so many entries and exited us through still more doors. Challenge yourself, will you? Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Trish, for being here. You are amazing. Thank you, everyone who was here today. Vibe Talk Facing the Lion can be heard on your favorite podcast wherever you're listening thank you for joining and we are out of here thanks guys we wish you to challenge yourself more often go listen to our latest podcast tell us what you think and we're done